<clears throat> All right, everyone. It is me, Judson Chan. Uh, I feel like I started the video a little earlier, but I needed to check up on some news, uh, read, um, you know, and of course do my video game stuff. You know, I actually decided to level a sixth uh, <laughs> magician. So I have six. Now I have six characters just farming shit all day now. Um, and surprisingly, it's actually worked. I actually have a lot more platinum. That's the main currency in EverQuest. A lot more platinum than I thought. So now I'm like probably like 2.7 million. So I can definitely buy like a, a $18 item called a Chrono, which basically gives you one full month of uh, full subscribership. Um, uh, and I need that for like, you know, getting alternate experience and all this other like cool buffed stuff that, you know, I'm not willing to pay money for because A, I being cheap and then two, I also like the challenge. Also three, it's like, well, I kind of already spent so much money already on video games uh, up until several months ago or whatever. So it's like, yeah, I kind of really need to tighten my thing. So and I, tell you, I view EverQuest as a very like advanced idle game kind of thing. So that's how I'm playing it. Anyway, um, I guess we'll browse some of the news articles, but I actually just wanted to look over these things, uh, the front page stuff. So, uh, so I already did some of my research, so I gotta actually hit the refresh button on all of this. So right now, um, everything's just tanking. Uh, I don't, I still don't actually know why. So one thing I do want to look at uh, is, oh yeah, is this actually a correction, right? Because yeah, things have been going up quite a bit. And then I guess it didn't really go down that much, even though I thought it did. But I may need to take a look. Uh, here's something very interesting. I was expecting this to go down, but Google says interest actually went up slightly to 12 for Bitcoin last week. Because everything is just going crazy and going down specifically. <clears throat> yeah, 24 hour volume is insane on coin market cap at 162, a little under 162 billion. What are these numbers? These things are completely yeah oh yeah this is yeah this is completely divergent. Coin market cap says 1.62 billion. Coin gecko says 86.11 uh, billion. Right, but either way, uh, crypto is just dying. Like they're just gonna dump everything. Like uh, we're we're talking serious problems. Like 12,000. So what's 33 percent of 12,000? So yeah, this thing could go down as low as 9,800. Uh, the thing that kind of really pisses me, oh wow, that's really bad. The thing that really annoys me is these prices aren't going up, right? Everyone's just literally pulling money out. Like everyone's literally pulling money out. And I don't know, I, I, some of these articles say rich people are buying these lows. I actually kind of don't really believe that. I think everyone's just dumping. I, I think that's just what it is. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's get the more updated version of the story, I think. Senate to vote on coronavirus aid as soon as this week. Yeah, I don't really care. Um, I just want to, I would, I would read it when they actually say, hey, it passed. This is what's in the package. All right. Because uh, I actually, because I actually worked pretty hard as I left my weights. I actually cooked hamburger meat. Uh, it's surprisingly pretty good. These two spike. And Disney Plus, for, yeah, because they wanted to boycott the actress because she stood with China against the Hong Kong and Tifa types. Uh, what's the headline say? Oh, okay. Ugh, God, now you just watch movies. See, that's, I mean, as, as much as, like, I never really went to the movie theaters. In fact, it's been, all, like, many years. But I still like the idea of the movie theater, especially now that my game's about almost ready to be released. And I reconnected with the acting and story writing and all that, all that art stuff that I love to do. Um, and it's like, yeah, there's something really sad about just not having movie theaters or going to the movies, you know? Because one day I want to make, you know, my big blockbuster movie, and I want you to go to actual the movie theater to see it, all right? Ah, like, uh, it's not the same. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll just... You know, do stuff like computer, just watch, and like like it's another Netflix Netflix show or Amazon Prime show or whatever, right? You know, it's just another streaming show, which is fine, but that's not, you know, you only get one chance to go to the movie theater and watch it for the first time. It's a totally different experience. You know, you go for the experience of it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, wow, this is bad. Yeah, I actually don't know, <clears throat> but it's kind of weird too, because again, people are interested. So I'm very, I really want to know what the Bitcoin searches for this week is going to be because everything is just dying right now. 
All right, so we have the article. Now, I did want to look at the charts because I wanted, uh, you know, the S&P 500 would probably be actually better because it has 500 companies. Give me, give me the one year thing. Uh, let's see, peaked at 3580. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this was the bottom of coronavirus. So we should be looking at around. So you, we could go down to 2800 and still be above the bottom when coronavirus was at its, you know, peak. Uh, well, peak hysteria or peak. Uh, I shouldn't use the word peak. Uh, the trail, because you know we're talking about the bottom here. Yeah, this is a correction. And it's a. Uh, I should have known. It's a correction, which sucks. Because I really, because you know, I'm trying to make some money. Unfortunately, it's also affecting uh, the cryptocurrencies here too. I mean, man, look at like Litecoin's at forty-seven bucks. Like Bitcoin's actually below ten k. Because I, I forgot to do the prices here and Dogecoin. It's actually doing okay. It's three fifty four million market cap. Yeah, it seems to have already bombed out, I guess. But overall, it's all really bad. Uh, let's see. Well, Reynolds still doing okay, so that's a good sign. So the good news is they're still see. I, I did read a bunch of these other articles too uh, on Yahoo, and I mean, it's still pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty optimistic. I wouldn't say op. Uh, yeah, it's optimistic, but cautiously up. That's the word. Yeah, it's cautiously optimistic. So JFC's at five to six, so you know cryptos here are being not not being spared. Even in fact, the trade volume is actually pretty bad. Fifty-seven to fifty-eight for four hundred four coin. Two by two coins at six to seven. Um, it's got you know it's uh, it's it's yeah it's got some serious but wow it's a big buy order. Yeah, so it's definitely got its big buys and sells. So I'm ho I'm really hoping that later today, like because uh, we also coming off the stupid Labor Day weekend. So there was just so much, so many re so many reasons why everything is just going down, and it's just like punch after punch. But I was watching last. I spent last night watching Rocky Four and Rocky Balboa, which is Rocky Six. It's like yeah, it's, a, it's not about how hard you can hit; it's about how hard you can get hit and then keep moving forward. So this is essentially what's happening. It's like this really sucks, <laughs> but I'm honestly not going to quit. So and I did check my bank account. It's like. Well, I actually had a lot more money in there than I thought. You know, it's like, oh yeah, you know. So, so that's good. That's always a nice feeling, by the way. So Rick's is at thirty-three to thirty-eight. Uh, oh, I also have to rewatch Pirates of Silicon Valley. I actually watched it a couple of days ago, but I need to watch it again. Actually, I'm gonna spend today doing that. Actually, actually, probably after I make this video. One hundred coins uh, doing pretty shitty too. It's at eighteen point two sats to nineteen point six sats. Actually, this one's here before. I guess it's getting better. Uh, the main problem is the sell order supply is starting to get bigger and bigger. I don't see anyone staking the coins. So again, people are like a lot because I actually have not been running any marketing at all. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to just rely on free stuff because um, I got websites that are just, uh, pumping up content, but it's going to take some time. So uh, the good news is Google is already indexing, you know, starting the process. So whenever that ranks, it ranks, you know, and the Alexa rankings are also improving too. Uh, like e like Alexa.com actually updates every day now. In fact, I have to check after I'm done with this. Uh, because because <clears throat> one thing I'm finding is some situations I just cannot do like my usual selling magic. So, you know, I can't use my traditional uh, sales writing, copywriting, magic types, uh, type of stuff. So, you know, I gotta come up with something different. Speed goods at 120 to 179 satoshis of a Bitcoin. So, actually, it's improving. So that's a good sign, right? Yeah, it's a good sign. So I'm seeing more buy orders. So, all right, so the money's starting to fall, find a flow back into crypto here. Because over Labor Day weekend, everything was just getting pulled out, right? The one-two punch of the U.S. dollar rising, the market's just dying, especially today. Like, it's just really bad right now. Um, let's see. I guess, we don't need to, uh, I guess I could check for spammers, I guess. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at you. Yep, nothing here. Uh, do I have anything new here? <clears throat> Actually, while we wait on these things to look and refresh the buffs on my characters, 
I can't believe I actually created six total magicians on EverQuest. It's ridiculous. But it's definitely going to be worth it, though. Actually, it is. It's already been worth it. Use your second stimulus check to buy Bitcoin. It could be a disaster. Um, when the first sum... Okay, I actually want to read this because I do because they did say they're passing some kind of relief package. I could actually use some money, actually. I am okay financially, but 200 bucks is still kind of nice. Bitcoin, also, it's also going to reassure uh, Trump's re-election as well. Guy today shows trading until the Bitcoin price to fall soon. That was two hours ago. Yeah, if we're actually in a correction, oh, I already closed the chart, but we already looked at it, right? Like, yeah, at least a 33% retracement. It looks like cryptocurrencies is already doing that because 33, uh, well, let's just do, oh, uh, I can do it in my head or off, off on my computer, but I want you guys to see my thought process, right? Uh, except. 66 uh tie i really want to know how are they able to load the ad with oh oh yeah because i disabled it right because uh the guy whoever programmed this did a really good job with the anti-ad block i actually could do i actually got it to work for me too but i decided not to use it uh bitcoin was at twelve thousand. so oh my god Ah, uh, that is really painful. That means Bitcoin wants to head down to eight thousand, and the marks consequently will go down one third. Oh boy, that's a, that's really rough. That is really rough. Ugh. But you know, I guess we gotta take. We had we like the pain, right? We gotta take the pain. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of pain, which means I'm definitely not gonna sell my crypto. I'm gonna build it up and then wait for it to go back up and then sell it for fiat. Oh, that really sucks. That could take like a month or two. But you actually have to wait till like after the election. And then, of course, the Democrats will contest it and start riots after they lose to Trump, right? Oh, God. Investors buying Bitcoin amid price slump near 10K data shows. Yeah, see, I, this is where I got one of the headlines from. I don't I don't believe it. Eyes on Wall Street opening, news Bitcoin, do they stay away from the buying pressure? Bitcoin continues seeing intense buying pressure, says, okay. All right, I guess we'll read it. Um, oh, yeah, so we're not going to read this article, but I did read this before I started the stream. But Fauci himself says they're not going to do mandatory vaccines, which I think is a lie. But even if they're telling the truth, we still have to, we still have to act as if they are lying and then keep a lot of pressure up. Because they definitely want to do that, and then you can't sue. So and it's going to be very dangerous, despite what they say, because... You know, our autism rates are now 1 in 88 because we are injecting too many vaccines. So it's all it, it's all bullshit. It's all designed to, like, screw us, screw the human uh, population, or especially Americans and conservatives and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, we have to keep pushing. That's why I'm keeping track of this because I'm, I'm definitely going to resist it. But the problem is they're, it's going to cost me $1,000 tomorrow. That seems to be the magic number that New York City and New York State likes to run. And even if uh, they don't make it mandatory, piece of shit Cuomo might still make it mandatory anyway. All right? He'll just wait till after the election's over and then make it mandatory. Right? Um, you know, because a lot of us are going to get really pissed about this. So, I don't know. Um, but yeah, a thousand bucks. That's the that's the that's the cost to move out of New York, uh, New York to Tampa, Florida. Right, getting my moving truck. Right, I have to spend a little extra money, which I have for sure. Get an apartment down in Tampa, Florida, which I hate. I'll be in there, but I'll do it. Right, get the deposit. Like, like it literally is half. Like my rent right now is sixteen forty eight. Right, but I can pay uh, eight uh, eight hundred. So the problem is my lease. Uh, expires in December, right? And I'm going to be moving in mid uh, mid next year, right? You know, because by then I'll be enough time. So it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, stocks, all right. Uh, you know, Trump's doing his usual thing. My campaign spell on my upfront order account for the false report. I really wish he would stop saying China virus. Now they see the greater we have three times more than we had. Uh, wait, now they see the greater we have. We have three times more than we had four years and are up in the polls. Lots of money and energy. Yeah, they're just running interference. Like, at this point, everyone's lying on the... Like, you really shouldn't be lying on predicted because you have to pay money for this. So, But this is definitely not true. It is way stronger. Trump's support is way stronger. The other hand, they are destroying the place. Yeah, they're still fucking. This place is still shut down. It's like I'm pretty sure New York City actually is a big part 
of trade volume here. And it kind of pisses me off. Um, man, I so many would fall. I probably are proud Americans. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, New York's dead, so. And then Trump supposedly is withdrawing all the funding for. Yeah, what Trump should actually do is I'm going to uh, withdraw all funding for New York if you don't reopen the state. Uh, full stop. And it's. Like, this is really pissing me off. Uh, the shutdown, that is. Um, stock market take the Stocks fell Tuesday, setting the three year major indices up for a third straight set of losses as last week's text let off still rolled in. Shares, uh, blah, 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 blah. Sally risk gets energy. Oh, I did read this offline, but. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Analysts added they expect the current bull market to continue as the implied growth outlook coupled with supportive of monetary supply should maintain the search yield, blah, 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 blah. Elsewhere, and then they talk about the vaccine. It'll be available as soon as October, all right, which is obviously going to be dangerous. Uh, so my, so I think what the, so I think the game plan for New York at least and the Democrats is in addition to the riot, it's <clears throat> they're going to make the event vaccines mandatory uh, in their states, uh, despite whatever any of this says, and then they're just going to really piss people off. Right, you know, they're just gonna piss people off. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Because if you know, assassination starts, you know, start happening, because that's the territory that apparently they want to go into. I don't want to be uh, associated with that and then get the blame. I mean, I'm probably getting the blame anyway. But uh, yeah, it's uh, people are gonna get very angry because they have nothing else left to lose. You took everything away from them: their pride, their jobs, their dignity, even their families. Because people are leaving each other because they can't make any money. Yeah, you know, people are going to just take up arms at that point. Like, I, I really just don't understand, this, like, what is wrong with these fucking... You know, in fact, let's go to Andrew uh, Cuomo's Twitter. Stop it, it's up to us to... Okay. Alright, this guy's really starting to piss me off. Okay. Uh... Let's see. All right, so it's fucking nothing. So open up the fucking state. So open up the. Jeez, I, I actually need to actually read. So. Oh, actually, yeah. Let me let me actually. The fucking state. Alright, there we go. Retweeted that. Uh, I mean, you know, bitching at him isn't going to do anything, of course, because obviously liberals don't care, but. Alright. Uh, all right. So everything's actually fine. So why are we still fucking locked down? Like this is really pissing me off. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of need to retweet this too. So let me do that because I'm not logged in on Brave, obviously. So, all right, there we go. Uh, that Omar. I mean, on the one hand, Omar Navarro is really spamming, but I mean, he's a real go-getter. So I don't know. Could he actually? He might. He might be a little bit. I don't know. I'm not gonna promote his shit though. Um, all right, there we go. All right. So there's that. Uh, let me see. What do we have here? Oh yeah, I do realize I'm a little all over the place, but oh yeah, actually no, I cl I clicked the X button, so um. Yeah, four of them were holding it for the long run. Microsoft should alert to crypto after you see a new malware targeting Windows users. Yep. Analysts uh, what twenty k hacker shut down your team for. Peter Schiff said you're all about Bitcoin. The crypto bear market is back. What? No, Peter Peter Schiff is actually part of um, Globo H Globo H word. I can't even say it now. And the uh, evil, he, he just plays a control opposition like the rest of them. So, he's not credible. Yeah. If a second stimulus check is coming, use it to buy Bitcoin. Okay. I just want to know about the stimulus check. 
Obviously, I'm just going to use it to pay bills. <laughs> Specifically, my rent. So it helps the DDD. DDD have struggled to get a turn to say, when the show or some are approved with the count of stuff, how the value of the toilet would have changed. What? Okay, now the double rate about the possibility of second video, a private Bitcoin has again will have people investors into Bitcoin, it would be a disaster. Maybe. I mean, the problem is, I still technically don't know the nature of all this dumping. Um, so, the bottom line is that the Bitcoin is simply not something ready for something like this. Bitcoin is most secure in the world. Okay, those are views of the DVD. Okay, here we go. Uh, but John reported 45 million years at the beginning of 2020, up 41%. But do you know that if there was a sign flow new out of rail, it would cause the Bitcoin network to buckle? There was all the mass buying of Bitcoin at right faster than the Okay, this guy is just clueless. I mean, that's what always happens with Bitcoin. I mean, you have to just get over it. Or better yet, what do people actually do? They buy altcoins. That's why I buy altcoins. All right, because I because I actually have to wait 24 hours for AS to send me my Bitcoin. All right, 24 hours from when I made the withdrawal. Right, and they did, and they definitely did it after I contacted support. But that's just how annoying Bitcoin is because it's so damn slow. Oh, Michael Boss twins, make the other case for 500k Bitcoin price. Oh, that's good because that's exactly what I wrote in my thing. Uh, problem is, I kind of need to promote. Actually, I think what will happen is I'll keep my Bitcoin video pinned to the top. I'm gonna keep retweeting my game. I don't know. I can't, see you can only have one pinned tweet, so uh, I don't know. New Bitcoin stable coin metric reveals intense buying pressure analysts. Bitcoin seeing continued intense. Okay. Uh, new Bitcoin reader says that investors are still much more interested in buying than selling. I want ten t. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because I really I'm going really fast because I kind of want to do other stuff. Uh, plus, I'm just distracted because I'm trying to like think about other stuff to do. Hold on. Uh, yeah, our doing looks good. Uh, no, that's crow. Yeah, Bitcoin's being we see why we feel that okay. So uh, stay up for the for market and entrance. New Bitcoin says that investors are still much more interested in buying than selling at 10k. Well, the data so far seems to back that up. Uh, okay. Excuse me. I really have to make sure because if I keep talking while suppressing the burp, then I get hiccups. And that's no fun. Tools take Bitcoins, exchanges, total reserve device on my stable coin. There is nothing over. Uh, uh, why would you divide by stable coin? Why, why does that matter? Bitcoin stocks are tiny. Actually, are. Holy more so than a fewer Bitcoin per character at the beginning of the year. Okay, I guess. My exchange gives you to to purchase cryptos are in BTC as well as hold tether. Oh, I guess that would make sense, right? Because you use because what you want is you want to buy Bitcoin when it's cheap. But the thing is, if you buy Bitcoin now and then let's say it drops to eight thousand and you know or you're very likely knowing that's gonna drop, then you don't want to be holding Bitcoin, right? Because you lose twenty percent. But you want to buy Bitcoin. Okay, so that actually makes sense now. You want to buy stable coins because that's essentially like having cash. It is cash, right? The US dollar, it's $1. And then you go in and you sell it to buy uh, Bitcoin. So it's just, okay. So actually, this does now make sense. I guess I, I guess I should not question a fellow Asian, uh, Asian finances uh, IQ, right? Key added that one provision did that actually you can use to purchase crypto and big, as well as hold tethered to buy a low prices later. Right. Okay, that does actually make sense. Potential buy sell pressure, Bitcoin's price. I don't actually know what the hell this is. Uh, I guess. Stable coin boom and falling Bitcoin reserves. The environment on exchange is deciding to set a flux Bitcoin lowest price action. Tether dollars stale has passed to about 14 billion of the plot. Uh, okay, so exchanges Bitcoin reserves continue to decrease. Evidence of continued desire among investors to save, not trade, or spend Bitcoin. So people are hoarding crypto. Okay. So if that's true, then that means that one of the reasons why I'm seeing a lot less trade volume is everyone's just hoarding cryptocurrency. Why would you? Oh, that's right. If you're hoarding cryptocurrency, then you're not going to want to buy altcoins, all right? Or you would just buy altcoin. Oh man, that kind of sucks because that means not only do I have to wait out this stupid correction in the markets because this is what it is. It's a correction. It's clearly obvious because there's there's actually no real 
uh, obvious negative news. It's positive news. The, uh, our things are getting better, and yet it keeps going down. So that basically, yeah, and it's going down a lot very quickly. That's a cl that is a correction. That's classic correction behavior. So um, I don't know. We'll probably, like I imagine, you know, like it might go down a little more, and then it'll flatline and go back up. Or if it's a sixty-six percent correction, which is even worse. That's a lot of pain. It's like getting punched in the crotch. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to calculate what it uh, what it is, but it's going to be down to around 22k, 20k, something like that. I, I have to just do the math, but I don't really feel like it. But yeah, definitely crypto. Like, I'm going to have to see what happens with crypto, but I know people want crypto, so and that is consistent with this. So I'm just going to have to ride the bear. As we always have. Um, uh, to be honest, I don't even know what the uh, thumbnail is going to be, so I'll just make it like that. <clears throat> if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JFC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, oh, okay. Hopefully that was still running while I was doing that. Well, I was looking at EverQuest. So anyway, uh, done for the day, obviously. Uh, I want to try to relax, uh, get some more thinking done, all right? Because I did a lot of work yesterday uh, So on, on the game. Uh, and now I'm thinking about, because uh, I actually want to do some voice uh, over work for my game too, uh, which means I have to start hiring some people. So I, could, I think I could probably go on Fiverr and hire voice actors and actresses for kind of cheap. I kind of want to establish a relationship with actual real people, you know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, uh, but that's what I'm thinking about. You know, it's good to get back into the acting, even despite all this financial bullshit chaos. But you know, what are you gonna do? All right. You know, so that's why I vote Republican, so that we don't have to go through this again. All right. Because I'm actually getting legit pissed at at, uh, at the uh, at the New York situation. All right. So, anyway, uh, see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, you know, like Raggy says, take the pain and keep moving forward, or something like that. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin. Um, yeah, I think this will be the thumbnail because I'm going to talk about prices going down, corrections happening, bull sentiment still there. So, we got all the ingredients, and of course, fundamentals are getting better. So.